it has been yet another eventful week. Just when I thought the come down from the fallout of the release of Endgame would allow us to slide gracefully into Christmas. Apparently not. This week, Prince Harry, the first senior British royal to give evidence in court for 130 years, has been successful in his action against the Mirror newspapers. The High Court in the UK found that a number of articles published about him resulted from phone hacking and the offending papers will now have to pay him £140,000 for using unlawful information gathering techniques. These findings relate to conduct in the early 2000s, but it does show the lengths some journalists were prepared to go to to feed the royal family news machine. Now, we can't be too sanctimonious on this show. We are here every week to provide you with the latest royal news. But there is a line, and it shouldn't be crossed. And phone hacking is the wrong side of that line. Prince Harry's lawyer said as much following the decision. I respectfully call upon the authorities, the financial regulator, the stock market who were deliberately deceived by Mirror Group, and indeed the Metropolitan Police and prosecuting authorities to do their duty for the British public and to investigate bringing charges against the company and those who have broken the law. And while these findings relate to days past, it's interesting how all sides of the royal family have their ways and means of getting their agendas into the press. Even now, there are friendly commentators, leaks, anonymous sources and lashings of contrived narrative framing. It is, after all, all about public perception. And there are absolutely no angels in this game. But one should always be clear about where the line is and stay on the right side of it.